Muslims around the world. Well, let's get more now uh, from New York. James Rinal is uh, standing by there for us now. Um, now, over the past 48 hours or so, James, Ground Zero has been the place to be for New Yorkers and Americans uh, in general. What's happening there now? Well, of course, as you say, there was a great sense of euphoria and jubilation on Sunday night after President Barack Obama announced that Osama bin Laden, the enemy number one of America, had indeed been killed in Pakistan. And the crowds took to the streets uh, shortly afterwards. They went to Ground Zero, the site of the toppled World Trade Centers, and also Times Square in central New York, and also outside the White House in Washington. Um, that sense of jubilation and euphoria still exists. Um, at the front pages of the newspapers here are still um, um, describing further details of the raid in Pakistan and the uh, American success, almost like a, a baseball home run for America. Um, but also, uh, America is going into a period of analysis and reflection, perhaps asking whether or not uh, the death of an individual, no matter how evil he may be considered, uh, is something to be celebrated, and also looking at the future political repercussions of this event, relations with Pakistan, whether or not al-Qaeda is now finished as an entity, uh, whether or not the war on terror is over. Now, uh, President Obama is due to visit Ground Zero himself on Thursday, and given the latest poll results, it looks like a good time for him to kick off his presidential campaign. Well, of course, uh, President Obama has certainly been playing this event um, uh, uh, as a success for himself. He, he, uh, he quite intimately described um, uh, him as the commander-in-chief of U.S. forces, um, spearheading this investigation, pushing for this investigation, pushing for uh, the hunting down and tracking of Osama bin Laden. Um, and he's going to be coming to Ground Zero to meet uh, some of the victims of the 9-11 tragedy on Thursday. Uh, th there have been poll results that indicate this is a success for the president. Um, something like 67% of Americans now approve of Obama's attempts to fight terrorism. But whether or not this uh, affects his overall uh, approval rating as a president, that hasn't changed a great deal. And I suppose it's a long time before the election next year. And with America's economy still in the doldrums, there's, uh, there's still a lot to play for. All right, James Reinald in New York. Many thanks indeed. Well, the killing of Osama bin Laden means Europe is at increased risk of a terrorist attack. That's according to 